open a, an interior image. I'll show you where we can, can use the vanishing point tool for this particular image. Let's go to filter and click on vanishing point. Again, the uh, the window is slightly outside the parameters, or my capture area is slightly smaller than what I need here. To, um, let's just click on the uh, the grid, and I'm just going to pick up the uh, the ceiling line here, and just click right on the corner there, and drag down, and again over here. I'm just going to create the first partition or the first um, wall. Now, the trick here is to press the control key and go over on one of the controllers, just click and drag, and watch what happens. Can you see that it's coming 90 degrees to the original? And if I click again and drag, again 90 degrees to the original, and if I click and drag again with the control key down, you'll see that it follows the line and you're actually getting the full perspective. Now, if there's a if there is discrepancy, like in this corner here, that means that the, the shot has been done with a wide angle lens, so we get a little bit of that perspective change. But for the majority of it, it's, this is quite simple, and I can easily just lift these two up a little bit to accommodate for that difference, and this one here. Okay, now, what can we do here? For example, let's say you have this piece of artwork that you want to duplicate over this wall over here. So all you need to do is just click on your select tool and click and drag and watch what happens. Can you notice that the the selection actually resizes itself and follows the perspective? I haven't made any modifications to it. I haven't done any distortion to it. Just a selection tool picks up the fact that you're working within perspective so it adjusts the, the, the front is going to be wider than the back, which is going to be narrower because it's further away from you. So while we're here, if I go Control C, I just copy that and then Control V, I'll duplicate that and just click and drag. Watch what happens as it's turning around the corner. Can you see that it's changed? And again, it's changed. And it's changed once again. And, and, and can you notice now that the... Uh, the far right side or the right hand side of that picture of that artwork is actually larger than the left hand side. So basically everything in perspective. So I can easily place it here for example, I'm just under the light, and I have myself a, a perfect piece of artwork without having to create or adjust any of the um, distortion of that image and it just follows the lines of the room perfectly. Well, I hope it's going to give you an idea of what you can do with the vanishing point tool and the perspective control tool. Uh, I think this is really helpful, especially if you're working with interior uh, images or exterior uh, architectural shots. You'll use it quite often. So uh, uh, I'll catch you on the next tutorial. Bye-bye, everyone.